Hello, my beautiful internet friends, and welcome back. So first of all, thank you so much to everyone who left such loving, wonderful comments on yesterday's video. I was pretty nervous to post that, and you guys have just been lovely. But today we are going to tackle a topic that I've not actually seen a lot of information about, and I've been pretty curious about for years, which is pain compound cream. <laughs> don't know what pain compound creams are, don't worry, because I didn't either for quite some time. They're sort of a newer thing in the medical field, medical world. Essentially what they are is they're topical creams that are medical grade. Doctors have to order them. They're specially made by special pharmacies. This one, for instance, was made by Sunshine Pharmacy, which I believe is in the mountains of Colorado. If you don't know what's been going on with my leg, since my last surgery back in March, I've had nerve pain that's just been, made it impossible for me to use my prosthetic leg. And there's also been just mounting more pain. It looks like more things are developing. It almost looks like the burst is coming back. So essentially my doctor prescribed this to me to help treat the pain, to hopefully calm things down so that we could get back to a place where I could actually start learning to walk again. So I've had this for a couple days. I've used it a couple times. Does it work? I also looked into studies recently on these to see if they're more placebo effect or if they, they really are effective. And this one, for instance, has ketamine as the main ingredient, it's 15%, gabapentin, 6%, Cyclocybazenoprene, I'm sure I said that wrong, 2%, tetracine, and diclofenac. Good thing I'm not a pharmacist because I did not say most of those words correctly. The thing about these creams is that they have really strong medications in them. For instance, this is 15% ketamine. Ketamine's a really strong drug. But the cool thing about it is you're not actually ingesting it. It's not going into your body. You're not swallowing it. It's not going to affect you like someone injecting ketamine into you. Gabapentin, which is another ingredient, can really mess with your head. A lot of people have negative side effects to it, but applied topically, it might not affect you the same way. Side note, that is not to say that if you've had any issue with internal medications, you should put them on topically. Talk to your doctor. Don't listen to anything I say over anything your doctor says. Talk to them about this. But in this case, I was prescribed this to hopefully help. They come with a handy dandy dose dosing card, and I'm supposed to use this twice a day. I have actually had topical pain compound creams before, years ago. The problem is that my insurance stopped covering it. I used to have a pain compound cream for my neck. I would get shipped like six bottles of it from Florida. I don't actually even remember what was in it. This was a couple years ago. Until my insurance stopped covering it, and this was about the time that I believe a lot of insurance companies stopped covering pain compound creams, and it went from being like five bucks to being over a thousand dollars and there was no way that I could ever afford that. And it, it helped, like it helped a little bit. It did not take pain away by any means, but it kind of produced a numbing effect. So it was helpful. It was a bummer that that was taken away, but I found other ways to deal. So when he suggested this cream, my first question of course is, this is gonna break the bank and it's not cheap. This little bottle right here was $145. He initially prescribed two. That was gonna be just shot of $300. So I thought, you know what? Let's just give it a shot first and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and put some on and I'll walk you through kind of this sensation as it sets in. So this is my shrinker here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. This is the affected area, essentially. There's a lot of pain centralized here and then also over here. So using the dosing card, you should use about that much. So then I am just gonna rub this in really thoroughly. Then make sure you go wash your hands because that stuff is powerful. So the first thing that I noticed when I first put this on is that I didn't really feel anything, but that was like within the first few seconds. It does take a minute or two to set in. So the very first time I put it on, it probably took about five minutes until I noticed any effect. And it was kind of just like a, a numbing. Like it just wasn't as intense actually touching the skin. You don't feel it as intensely. It's like there's almost like a, a tiny little bit of a barrier between you and what you were feeling previously. But I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a tiny little barrier. It's not something I'd really go out of my way to do. It's almost like the trouble of actually getting it out Putting it on washing my hands negates the help that it gives by relieving any pain. The pain relief is, is very minimal for me with this particular compound. But that's the thing with pain compound creams. There are so many different varieties. You can literally mix any kind of medication. That's one of the reasons that they're so expensive is because they are all completely custom. Now, as promised, I also did look into some studies about this. This particular study came out of the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. And what they found essentially is that 
Between a placebo and the actual pain relief cream, there wasn't a huge difference. They studied long-term pain patients and acute pain patients, and what they found, and I will link the study below, is that there wasn't that much of a difference, that the benefits were minimal, if any. In this study, they did actually try a couple different kinds of compounds, and that is what they found. Like I said, I will link the study below, so check it out yourselves. That is not to say that this doesn't help some people. For instance, the, the compound cream that I had years ago, it was a different mix of medications, and it really did something for me. Now, whether that was a placebo effect or not, I can't tell you, but I can tell you that it was helpful enough that I used it multiple times every day. Now this, on the other hand, I will probably use if it's around and I feel like using it and getting up and washing my hands and all of that, but it, it really doesn't do all that much, unfortunately. That is my experience with pain compound creams. I'm curious what yours are. Have you ever been prescribed it? Have you ever had it? Do you think that it's worth the expense? One of the biggest issues, in my opinion, with pain compound creams is that insurance companies don't cover them and that makes it so expensive. Like if this worked really well, this should last me about two weeks. So it'd be just about $300 a month that I'd have to pay out of pocket just for this. That would throw off anybody's budget. So while this sounds like a promising option and maybe they'll come up with better ways to use it long term, my experience is that it's not super worth it, that it's too expensive for what it is. I am grateful for the chance to try it, but I would not necessarily recommend it to anybody. But hey, if your doctor prescribes something like this and you have the financial ability to try it, give it a shot. It can work for you. It does work for some people. Like I said, the one I had before worked well for me and I, I wish I could remember what was in that one. Let me know your comments in the comment section down below. I look forward to chatting with you guys there. Especially a big thank you goes out to all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. Our patron of the day today is Sunday Brett. Thank you Sunday so much for helping me out for your continued support. You've been a patron for quite some time now and I, I I notice and I really appreciate that. Thanks guys for listening. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Uh, again, thank you for sticking with me this week. It's been a pretty rough week. I know the video I released most recently was a lot more real and a lot more raw than I am super comfortable being and the response that you guys had was so incredibly loving and supportive and I haven't had a chance to respond to everybody's comment, but I can tell you that I have read every single one of your comments, your stories. I know more than ever that I'm not alone in what I'm feeling and please know that if you're dealing with depression, you are not alone. You're not the only one feeling like you're feeling you're not crazy. There's definitely help out there and it does get better and I'm in the midst of finding what better looks like myself because some days are better than others and today's, today's an okay day. So I'm gonna hop back to what I need to get to but I wanna take a moment today to share with you guys my thoughts on pain relieving compound cream. I'd give it a 2 out of 10. Thanks guys for listening. I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.